Hey guys, it's Ken from AnyMonkey, and today I'm going to do a very quick tutorial on how to use the PDF section of the app. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my bottom project here, which is Demo 3, and load the project, and I'm going to click on the middle button in the bottom, PDF Files, and you can see that I have a PDF file here. Now you can have multiple PDF files. These get loaded when you create the project in the administration area on the uh, AnyMonkey website. Okay. So um, what I've done here is I've preloaded uh, just a random PDF and I'm going to click on it here and it's just a landmark uh, certainty brochure and um, I'm going to scroll, start scrolling through this thing here and I'm going to get to an area where I see some text. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the T tool at the very top left of the screen and I'm going to just rub my finger across an area that I want highlighted and I'm going to do maybe do another one down here and then I'm going to be done with that. Now, if I wanted, to, if I made a mistake and I wanted to erase it, there's an eraser tool right beside the T, and I can just click on this little area here, and it goes away. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the next page, and I'm not going to put anything on this page, but I'm going to go to the next page, and I'm going to get my t highlight tool again. I'm going to highlight a little area that I'm interested in, and then I'm going to go to the next page. Miss that one. Oh, here's another page. And I'm going to put a bit more highlight right there and then I'm going to be done. So you can see at the bottom it says 7 of 20. So there's 20 pages in this PDF. Now this is the great little thing about this tool is that um, if I click on the back here um, and I go to generate a report and I click on the PDF section here um, I go to click gen done and generate what it does is it takes those three pages that I just put highlight on and it takes them out. So now you can see it says one of three down here at the bottom and only the pages that I put highlight on are pulled out of that for you. And where this is really great is let's say you have a specification from a roof consultant or from an architect or engineer and let's say the, the spec is 150 pages long but the part that concerns you is only maybe three or four or ten pages of that. So or the thing that you want to um, where there's important information on those pages, you can just put a little bit of highlight on those pages and then it'll pull those pages out for you so you don't forget them when you're preparing your quote. So that's all there is to the um, PDF section. Um, thanks very much for tuning in and I'll have some more uh, tutorials very shortly. Thanks very much.